Hello everyone, uh, I am Maitri Mordekar from the Clicker Hardware team uh, and I am going to demonstrate today how to set the demonstration for the robo control application. Uh, the very first thing that we are supposed to do is plug the router, there will be green lights glowing, that a stable green light will tell us, tell us that the router is on. Now this is the Spark 5 row, this is the robot that is going to be controlled by the Akash application. It's, uh, it's basically a Spark 5 uh, platform that has a Raspberry Pi connected on top of it. Uh, that's interfaced using the Zigbee module. It has uh, two, two USB ports and one is connected to the uh, dongle that connects to the router that we showed and the other one uh, is connected to a USB camera. The very first thing that we have to do is mount, uh, connect the uh, battery protection circuit like this. Now there are four indications for the, uh, this battery is connected to the Raspberry Pi, it passes the uh, Raspberry Pi, that's the dongle and the USB camera as well. So for this battery protection has four levels of indication of the battery. Now a stable blue light will tell us that uh, the battery uh, is about 7.2 volts. Now between 6.8 and 7.2 it's going to blink, uh, blink blue, uh, if between 6.6 .6 and 6.8 it's going to blink red or uh, below 6.6 uh, .6, it's going to give a beep sound. So the next thing we have to is plug the Raspberry Pi power. Now, the Raspberry Pi is booting up. Once the green, uh, green color light here turns on, that means the Raspberry Pi camera is started. Now, once the green line turns on, that means the Raspberry Pi has started. Now we could turn the, plat uh, the Spark 5 on. Now in case uh, the light of the battery protection circuit turns, uh, uh, gives a beeping sound, uh, you are supposed to turn the battery and the robot off and going to, and supposed to put it for charging so that the battery level does not go below the minimum value. The next setup is a static camera that is going to uh, monitor the robot so that it does not go out of the bounds or the user knows where exactly the robot stands. Now this is the setup, uh, you, it's, a, it's a Raspberry Pi which has uh, this, the image of uh, the operating system, it has a dongle and the USB camera. This is the camera that's going to monitor the robot. It's supposed to switch on the power supply and wait till this green line turns on. Now this setup is for the dual screen application that we have uh, uh, developed. In case the single screen application has to be run, there is no need for this setup. This entire setup has to be uh, removed. There is no need to have an additional camera and an additional Raspberry Pi. Now these are the changes or settings that are supposed to be done on the tablet. First go to Wi-Fi, turn it on. and connect it to the router that we showed. The name of our router was TP Robo. Now these are the settings. The password we gave was Crescent 123. It may be whatever password that you gave, uh, you give and set it on the Raspberry Pi as well as uh, the router. Go to show advanced options and turn it to static, turn the IP settings to static, set the IP address, uh, you can put any value that is above 130, so I will put it as 148 suppose. Punch the value of the router that is 192.168.1.1 
again the value of the router. Okay, save. It's going to connect to TP Robo. Connected. Now start the application provided uh, the camera of the static uh, and uh, the robo is on uh, however it's uh, possible that either of the cameras may be off uh, but then uh, uh, ensure that the camera stays on this is the robo controller application for the dual screen now the settings now since the raspberry pi the robot camera is given IP 1.125. The respective uh, IPs are put in these sections. This is for the camera of the robot. It's for the control port. That's the control signals that are sent on 777 port of 125. The still camera is on 126 port number 6666. This is the view of the static camera. And this is the view of the robot. Now, con using this joystick, you can control the robot. That's forward, backward, left, right. Along with this, we have given uh, a servo to the camera that can change the angle of view. That's up. And if you want to get back to the default settings, you can press 0 with that down you can change the angle of view you can also vary the speed now the plus it's going to move a lot faster zero is going to get it back to its default settings minus it's going to move very slowly plus and faster now the previous application we showed was for the dual screen now you can run the same apparatus on a single screen and you don't need the additional raspberry pi this is the application this is the robot screen and we don't have the static camera screen here it's exactly the same procedure but in the settings we have one uh, option less that's for the con uh, that's for the raspberry pi cam uh, the second raspberry pi camera that 1.126 isn't there so for that everything is same uh, on the dual screen as well you can see just one uh, one uh, screen of the robot if you switch off the raspberry or uh, the other raspberry pi it's just going to show you a message saying uh, the other raspberry pi camera isn't on the rest of the movement is the same for the robot